At WWDC 2018, Apple announced macOS Mojave, which is due for release this fall. One of the new features within Mojave is Quick Actions. Apple showed off the ability to instantly do actions like rotate an image, access markup, turn bulk images into a PDF file, add a password to any document, and they even showed off the ability to instantly add a watermark to multiple image files, all within the Finder's new preview window. We tried them all out, and they worked perfectly, except for the watermark action, which requires quite a bit more work. So we'll show you how to do that in a future video. Just be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss it. Now let's walk through how to create your own custom quick actions in macOS Mojave. Open the Automator app by using Spotlight Search, then click New Document. Select Contextual Workflow and click Choose. This is a new option in Mojave that allows the workflow to work in the Finder Preview pane in MacBook Pro Touch Bar. Now we're introduced to a whole library of actions in the sidebar. I'll show you just a couple of examples of what you can do. First off, let's make a quick action to instantly resize images. First, we'll go into Files and Folder and add the Duplicate Finder Items action. This way, we won't be editing our original image files. Now we'll go into Photos and add the Scale Images action. You'll get a prompt asking you if you want to add the Copy Finder Items action, but we don't have to since we've already added the Duplicate action. Since we work with 4K files, I'm going to set the size to 1980 pixels, which will resize my 4K images to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now I'll also go into the Files and Folders section and add the Rename Finder Items action. It defaults to Add Date or Time, but I'll change it to Add Text and simply add Resized at the end. Now we can go back to Photos and add the Open Images and Preview action. At the top of the page, you'll see your workflow options. We can change what the workflow receives to image files, since we only need to resize images. Below that, we can change the icon image to something other than the action icon. You can even choose a custom image. Finally, let's go to File and save this workflow. I'm just going to name it Resize. Now let's go into the Finder, select an image, and click More within the Preview section. We'll see our new Resize Quick Action. A couple of seconds after we click it, our image opens up in preview, and as you can see, the title says Resized. The metadata also shows that it was resized correctly. Now let's go a little bit further. I added some action so that my Resize button now automatically emails the resized image to the recipient of choice. As you can see, I have the new mail message action. I've input the recipient, message, and subject. Within the subject line, I've added some variables from the Variable tab so the subject title will be different every time. You can even hit this arrow to change the format of the variables. At the very bottom, I have a simple Send Outgoing Messages action. Above that, I've added a pause action because I noticed that sometimes there wouldn't be enough time for the workflow to attach the images before sending. Now let's go and test this out on a bulk amount of images. Let's try 15 at once. You can briefly see the Mail app open and close. As you can see, I've received an email with the date and time correctly displayed in the subject line, and with exactly 15 resized images attached. If you have more than that, I would probably add a longer pause before the send action. Now this is just an example to show off some actions, but you may actually be able to use this if you have multiple people in your business that you need to send images to. This could easily be used with a company mailing list to instantly send brochures and documents to every employee at once. Just switch the workflow input from images to files and folders, and you can now email anything. Now I'll show you some of the cool and unique quick actions I was able to create. Here's one that can instantly create a kaleidoscope image out of any image you use. You can adjust the reflections, the pace of the animation, and the offset. The end result can look pretty sweet. This action also has a ton of other options, like an image resizer, color controls, and many other filters. As another example, here's a quick action that can automatically extract images out of PDF files. You can choose the color mode, resolution, compression, and also choose from a whole list of formats, including JPEG and PNG. This is usually something that takes a third-party app like Photoshop to do, and as you can see, it works perfectly. For images, there's other actions that include things like converting the file type, flipping the image, scaling them, printing them, and lots more. For PDFs, you can add a grid, add filters, extract text, and much more. Quick actions are not only available in the preview pane while using the Finder, but also when you right-click on files, even when you're on the desktop. 
Those examples I showed you were just the tip of the iceberg of what quick actions you can create. Just try it for yourself when you get your hands on Mojave. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.